And here we've got Johnny Chan picking up an ace king in early position and limps in and Phil, 9-6 offsuit. Another example of a hand that, you know, he could do anything and I'd be like, oh, well, maybe, maybe he's got a point. Right. I wouldn't have limped in with this, but. Antonio raised the 4,000. And Chan could re-raise here, but he likes to just call. He's being pretty sneaky with his ace king. I like it. It's tricky. When somebody limps and then just calls a raise, mm -hmm. generally you're not putting them on ace king. Yeah. Four, six, eight, two diamonds on the flop, and Chan is going to check here. And Antonio raising preflop. He's going to continue betting here yeah. quite a bit. Yep, 5,300 from Antonio. And I expect to see Johnny call here, especially having the ace of diamonds. That's both a good card to bluff diamond turns. And he does have a backdoor flush draw. The nut backdoor flush draw. He liked that ace on the turn. Just what he wanted. He checks again. Now, this is a decision for Antonio. And remember how Johnny just limped in preflop. Mm -hmm. Just called his raise. And Antonio might be thinking Johnny might not figure to have too many aces uh, in the range of hands he could have. Maybe yeah. Antonio's hoping he has something like deuces or threes. Yep. Well, he put in 11,200. I like this. I like this just call. He's, he's giving Antonio room to hang himself. Right. Notice Antonio <laughs> is drawing dead. He's, Absolutely. he's got 0%. Deuce on the river. The question is, does Antonio bet again here? This chatty table has fallen very silent here. And Antonio's got a big uh, decision to make here. Does. He knows he can't win the pot if he doesn't bet, yet will betting work? Uh, fires a third barrel right into Johnny Tran's trap. It's nice for Johnny because Johnny has the hand that Antonio was actually <laughs> representing. That's always yeah. a good thing in No Limit Hold'em. Nice hand, Johnny. Thank you. And listen, I don't love Antonio's play there, but in the grand scheme of things, hands like that, Make him very tough to play against. Nice to make up so while that hand didn't work out, nice very often by the end of the session, Antonio is doing quite well. Antonio Esfandiari, not the first nor the last to fall into the sneaky trap of the great Johnny Chan.